Alright, this is Yule Time uh, tarot card reading. Pick a card. So we have the Absidian, we have the White Crystal, and we have the Lapis. So pick whichever one resonates for you, and we will see what's going on for Yule Time. Um, and I also have a spell at the end, so you know. I'll, I'll list that down below, but, you know, how it's going, <laughs> it's a total secret. You can just scroll down and see which, um, spell it is. So, just, you know, even if it's a bad one, you might need to make some changes, but it's how the air feels around Yule time. So, anyway, let's get started with the first group. We have the Absidian. So... What must you let go of to move on? We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is ungrounded, overly ambitious, social climber, mean-spirited, shallow, um, sociopath, jealous, possessive, wicked, out of control, over-controlling, or overweight. Uh, could also be somebody that has lack of finances or has health issues. So this person might be uncomfortable. Um, also, they could be not having a good time with financial stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of everybody at the moment. But this, pro this probably is a person that um, kind of feels entitled. So uh, you might have to let go of them so that they don't do something that's going to be drastic or that you'll find out about that will be devastating. Okay, so number two, what does the darkness reveal? We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is mature, emotional, female, secure, um, femininity, loving, uh, warmth, Sensitivity, kindness, happiness, intuition, romance, loyal, and faithful. So this is love, family, and relationships. I feel like there's two people in this situation. There's one that you're with and then one that's kind of like a friend. Or kind of on the level of friend um, here. So you might just need to switch the two. Um, one needs to be out of your life. Because I feel like there's something happening here that's not 100% what you need in your life. Because maybe you're kind of an empath and you kind of soak up other people's energies like I do. Okay, so number three. What shadow must be embraced? We have a five of wands. The five of wands is conflict, fighting, arguments. Uh, let's see. Disagreements, struggle... Um, opposition, a battle, aggression, temper, um, clashing of percep perceptive um, perceptions, personalities, ego, strikes, and chaos, unruliness, and being defensive and territorial and absurdive to the point of bent up energy or bent up rage and jealousy. Lack of control, uh, cooperation, frustration, irritation, competition, adrenaline rush, sports, being rough with a loved one. So, you could be, like, big on ego. And this other person that you're with could be big on ego as well. And when two people get together and they're both ego-based people or high-strung people... Or they're kind of high successful people. It will never work out easy. Alright? Because you're both fighting for the attention of the other person. To be like, oh yeah, I'm the end all be all. But at the same time, you're not meeting in the middle for anything. You know? And that's why ego has to be taken out of relationships. So then you're not constantly butting heads. Or you're not blind to what you're partner saying or what's important to your partner. Okay, so you kind of need to leave that at the door. Anyway, we have number four. Number four is what area of your life needs light? We have the emperor. The emperor is career achievements. So, um, 
there could be some like fatherly issues or there might be some point of authority. Maybe you want to be an authority figure, maybe you're more practical, logical, protective, or you have kind of like that authority structure in your, um, you know, your personality. A lot of people do, but few people know how to use it correctly, so there might be a little bit of butting heads there, so, you know. Anyway, number five, as the light grows, where should your focus be on? We have the three of wands. The three of wands is, let's see, the three of wands is no work in business. So there's return or travels, moving home, lack of foresight, planning, holding on to past uh, or haunting by the past events, lack of confidence, self-doubt, restriction, failure, disappointment with choices, overcoming frustration, um, clipped wings, and lack of progress, adventure, growth, and failed long distance. So there's something here that's not working out and I feel like you're going to have to deal with um, not having a job or not being 100% stable with um, everything. Maybe it's a very like you don't know what to do next or maybe you're trapped in a situation. Maybe you have a couple things in your past that you're not 100% proud of, and it might be hindering you from finding an actual job that pays well. So, you know, you're going to have to work on that, you know. I think that's it. Anyway, group one, hopefully this helps you out. I know it's a lot, but, um, you know, life's a lot. So it's, so it's good to have little bit of insight, but I feel like a lot of stuff in your life is probably based around your own ego or around the ego of people that you associate with. So just be careful on how people perceive you because I feel like that might be hurting you. I feel like you lead with your ego and not with empathy. Okay. So it's a shifting gears. It's going from one gear to the next. So you're not blocking your own success. All right. Anyway, Obsidian Group, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this helps you out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a long winter, so, you know, stay tuned. But, um, yeah, just work on yourself. Do some good things for yourself so you, you can feel better. Alright? Anyway, later. Alright, we have the Crystal. Uh, so, let's see what we have for you. We have, what must go, what must you let go of to move on? We have the Eight of Swords. Put that up there. Okay, so the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, restricted, um, backed into a corner, hands tied, victimized, uh, paralyzed by fear, terror, anxiety, feeling pressure, helplessness, uh, hopelessness, and, uh, let's see, powerless, alienation, silence, crisis, dilemma, drama, uh, punishments, uh, to the point of feeling prosecuted, judgment, trial, by jury, uh, circumstances, consequences and negative attributes and psychological torture or major um, mental um, paralyzation. So there's something here that's like not going well. I feel like you're trying to build back your self-esteem and stuff after some traumatic experiences happened or stuff that you haven't been able to control. That's going to take a while. Um, that doesn't just disappear overnight. I should know my entire life has been a traumatic experience. But, you know, I haven't wrote in my book yet, so you can't read about that. Um, but yes, I totally understand that. But you do have to build yourself up to where you can do things that you never thought possible. 
And that's very hard for somebody that's gone through traumatic experiences to do. But it's a challenge that I feel like you might be able to do. Okay? Probably not soon, but in time. Okay, so what does the darkness reveal? No fame or achievements. We have the chariot. The chariot is forcefulness, lack of direction, lack of self-control, powerlessness, aggression, um, cavey, being blocked by obstacles and circumstances. So there's something here that's blocking you. It could be that um, maybe you're kind of, you know, confined to a particular situation which you can't get out of right now so it's um that's gonna be a bit of a problem as time goes on and I feel like there's not gonna be a way out of it until you kind of release it or you kind of you know try to rebuild okay all right number three what shadow must you embrace we have the Elephant in reverse. So challenging tradition, unconventional lifestyles, unconventional relationships, uh, reverse roles, uh, nonconformity. So there's uh, no religion or religious leaders. So you're kind of in a relationship or in a circumstance where it might be very unconventional. Maybe you're wife is the breadwinner or you know your husband is the breadwinner and then like they clean the house or whatever else but it it depends of how you set up your lifestyle but I feel like it's it's everybody pitches in about the same energy into uh, the lifestyle okay so you know even if you can do very little things you can do very big things as well okay so Never think that it just has to be um, one-sided, okay? Number four, we have what area of your life needs light? We have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is love, family, and relationships. So children, childhood memories, uh, past influences, uh, yearning for home, nostalgia, reunions, playfulness, Youthfulness, innocence, creativity, kindness, uh, goodwill, simplicity, childishness, and immaturity. Uh, sharing gifts and clarity with family and supporting protection, childhood issues, and childhood abuses coming to light. So there's probably a lot here that needs to be talked about with you or your spouse in order for them to understand where you're coming from. A lot of times with certain family issues or certain issues that they might take more strongly than you do or there's some things that you let go of and some things that they won't let go of and they kind of want to see where um, your belief system lies within the middle of that. Okay, so it might be a long conversation. Okay. And we have, as the light grows, where should your focus be? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse is no love in family uh, or a relationship. So, uh, fear of moving on, stagnation, um, accepting a lot, cheating, uh, Self-awareness, lack of emotional maturity, staying in a bad situation, faking happiness, low self-esteem, lack of self-worth, and clinging to something that's not good for you. A fear of commitment, a fear of abandonment. So you, you kind of don't know if you're coming or going, but you want to stay in a situation that might be uncomfortable, but at the same time it's something. Okay, and something's better than nothing, I get it. But it's also not building your self-esteem up. It's keeping you in a box. And sometimes that can be literal, um, a box. So just be very careful, okay? Because I feel like if you can keep yourself in a box, a lot of people will treat you like that. 
because your energy will kind of sway them to treat you either lower than thou or to the point of you're not being treated like a human being. Okay, so be careful. And group two, I know it might be hard, but I feel like you might have to go to therapy, talk about your issues, journal about it, and actually make it to the point of moving on from your own issues and what's good touch versus bad touch because I feel like there's a disconnect there as well. What's acceptable um, solutions and what's not acceptable and emotions that you should be feeling if you're in a relationship whereas in certain other situations, okay? So you can kind of figure out where the red flags are in your own relationships. Anyway, group two, hopefully this gave you clarity, if anything. And, you know, Yuletime's a long time. Uh, the winter season is a long time for a lot of us. So hopefully you clear up a lot of stuff and you find out where you feel comfortable. You shouldn't just be in a situation because you're afraid to be single. Sometimes our conscience speaks a whole lot louder than the silence, you know. But um, you, you need to find out where you need to be. Sometimes being single is where you need to be. Sometimes getting out of a situation is where you need to be. So be very mindful. If it's not comfortable, don't be in it, all right? Anyway, group two, I will see you in the next reading. You take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next reading, all right? Later. All right, we have Lapis. Lapis is always fun. Um, it's kind of like a magical stone, or how it sounds is, you know, kind of magical in, in and of itself. So we'll see what's going on. Um, what must you let go of to move on? We have no strife or logic, so that it might be um, very difficult to relate to somebody around this time. So we have the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Seven of Swords in Reverse is confessing, coming clean, turning over a new leaf. Um, conscience uh, kicked in, ignoring uh, psychopathic or pathological liar, um, serial cheater, uh, sl see slander, dangerous, two-faced, malicious, con artist, blackmailing unworkable strategy, being outsmarted, getting caught, uh, a, a social coward, or a blackmailer with no real evidence, um, stealing credits, or something to that effect. So you might need to actually let go of somebody who's doing this and trying to blackmail you to stay with them, or you kind of need to move on from immature patterns because what what happens is that it kind of clutters your you know your personal mentality or your personal feelings or that filter that you put between you and other people it could actually be taking as a personal attack on somebody else if you keep that kind of action or you keep that company of somebody who does stuff like that Okay, so what does the darkness reveal? We have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups in reverse is love, family, and relationships. So a lot of options, choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing decisions, procrastination, dreaming, fantasizing, illusion, wishful thinking, imagination, uh, hallucinogens, and medications. There could also be some meditation involved. But with me, I kind of get into the, you know, the depths of things to find out what exactly is going on. Because the Seven of Cups isn't really going to, like, be, like, a definite end-all, be-all type of uh, card. It's kind of like a what-if card, especially if it's upside down. So this is you're taking no action, but uh, expecting it to come fairly easy to you, which it doesn't happen for everybody else. So, 
you might need to take um, steps forward for anything to happen. So, let's see, I'm going to flip this around. Because that's how I feel it played. So, let's see. The next one is going to be the shadow that you must embrace. We have the wheel of fortune. So, luck. Good luck, destiny, change. Uh, karma, soulmates. Decisive movements. Uh, cycles of life, fate, fortune, upheaval, chance. So there's something that's a game of chance or gambling at this point. So you might want to take a chance. Uh, so number four, the area of, of your life that needs more light. We have the magician in reverse. So the magician is kind of a manipulation, greed, unused ability, um, unworthiness, trickery, convincing, conning, or lack of mental clarity. So there's something here that is lacking clarity. So it might be a question and then it dr drives into something else. All right, so it depends on what's going on. Um, but anyway, we have, as the light grows, where should your focus be? Your focus should be on no strife or logic, so you're still in the same type of framework that you were with the Seven of Swords, so, you know, translate. But, um, trouble coming out, um, out of the frying pan into the fryer, lack of progress, slow healing, trapped, delay, lack, or stuck in an overwhelming situation caused by trouble, rocking the boat, changing, abandoning plans, standing your ground, nowhere to run, a stormy relationships, instability, disruption, canceled travel, returning from travel, um, let's see, accidents at sea or on the water. So there's something here that is kind of emotional. So it depends if you're with somebody or not or other things are happening. So there's going to be some emotional things, either with a relationship, a business, or dealing with somebody else. So just be careful with that because other people's feelings are fragile. And I feel like you're doing this, um, you're with somebody as a placeholder. If you get a chance to be with somebody else, you would take it. I feel like you have somebody in mind. But at the same time, it's going to hurt this person that you've been with for probably a couple months or a year or something. And they're going to be very hurt by it because they feel like it's a personal stab against them. Like they didn't do enough. Maybe they did a whole bunch, but you're just like, I don't really see a future, you know, that type of thing. Which is kind of hard for other people to understand that. But, you know, it depends of who you love and who you feel is a necessary part of your life where you're willing to do whatever it takes to be with this person. If you don't feel that thrill, then why be with that person? But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, alright, number three. Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. You kind of know what I'm saying because you've probably been through it for a while. But, um, yeah, somebody's going to get hurt in all this. Okay, so... Just do stuff that you would think would be easier if somebody did it for you. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I just let them know what's going on. Because it's easier that way than just the surprise of, oh my gosh, you know, whatever have you. Okay. So anyway, group three, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself and everybody else. But, um, yeah, Yule time is, is a long time off, and hopefully everything works out, and I do have your spell work down below, so hopefully it's a good one. I'm not sure. It was kind of like, um, uh, it makes me feel some type of way. So I feel like you might have gotten a lot of abundance very quickly, so, you know, that's, that's always admirable. But, um... Yeah, it happens to the best of us when we need to get 
an upgrade. My cat's like walking all over my bed. I don't want any of my books falling off. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.